Sri Lanka is awarding a ceremonial welcome to every flight reaching the airport. However, what is happening in Bangladesh, a regional partner? Bangladesh does not have the resources like Sri Lanka does and most of the time the country is battered by various natural disasters. However, today Bangladesh is on the path to achieving rapid development and this development does not involve the sale of national assets and obtaining loans from all over. Bangladesh aims to become a developing nation in 2026, poised for greater growth. The light rail transit that Sri Lanka rejected was given to Bangladesh, who installed it in their capital, Dhaka. The largely Japanese-funded project, known as Line 6, was inaugurated by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on Wednesday, the 28th of December. Bangladesh constructed the nearly 3.3 billion US dollar project with financial support from the Japan International Cooperation Agency, also known as JICA, which is bearing about 75% of the total cost in the form of a loan with a 0.01% interest rate. The Bangladesh government is funding the rest. The line stretches over 20 kilometers and will connect the capital's Agargaon to Uttar North in under 10 minutes. The Bangladesh government plans to build five more metro rail lines in the capital Dhaka by 2030. What did Sri Lanka do? Japan had proposed to award this project to Sri Lanka. While all the necessary preliminary measures were in place for the project to go ahead, after Gotabe Rajapaksa was elected, a letter from his secretary suspended the project. Japan granted a soft loan to build a light rail transit system with an annual interest rate of 0.1% and a 40-year repayment period, including a 12-year grace period. As this project was suspended abruptly, it cost Sri Lanka 5,978 million rupees for no reason. If Sri Lanka is forced to pay the 5,169 million rupees sought by the consultancy firm, that loss will also have to be borne by the country. We were able to take this project from a concept to construction within three years. If the 52-day conspiracy did not take place, we could have launched construction in 2018. Official claiming to be experts advised Gotabe Rajapaksha to scrap the project. The reason for this was that the government wanted to head back to constructing expressways. We managed to reduce the cost from 2.2 billion US dollars to 1.8 billion. However, scrapping of this project was a crime. Some say the project can go ahead now, but it will not be possible in a bankrupt country.